All right, we're continuing our series on Dataverse security. So we've already talked about where to get started and security roles. Today, we're gonna have a quick video about business units. So your business unit is defining your structure, right? You build a tree of business units that your users live in, and this is directly related to their security roles like we talked about and the rest of their security. So you want to make sure that you define this structure based on the access that they need not the organizational structure. So sometimes we might have sales and marketing separated, but maybe they're working with the same records and they need to be together in Dataverse, together in Dynamics 365. So you wanna be thinking about access and not kind of thinking about the hierarchy first, right? Let's make sure we're choosing the best solution. You wanna look at specifically data that cannot be shared. It's really easy to at the, after you've built something, then it comes up, oh, specific records can't be shared, specific people can't see these, and then you haven't planned for it, right? So I want you to bring up those questions at the beginning. What specific records can other people not see? Is there anything extra secure that we need to be aware of? And make sure you take that into account with your business unit structure. Also, quick reminder, the goal of Dynamics, the goal of Dataverse, the goal of the Power Platform really is to share information, right? And to make things easier with your organization. So I do encourage you to look for the least restrictive security possible. I know this isn't always available, right? Sometimes there's regulatory things we have to consider, but if you can, if you can push for it, if you can suggest it, let's try and open it up and to promote that organizational collaboration. Also, I generally encourage you not to put all of your users in the root business unit. This is because you might want to create, change the structure around, right? So in our first video, we talked about how you cannot reparent the root business unit. So what if you need to kind of change your organizational structure around and you need to move all these users, then it gets a little bit dicey. So generally I'll encourage you create another business unit and then you can add a new parent if you need to, you can move things around and figure it out, right? So generally I would have your root and then you have your organizational business unit. And then if you have say another team, you merge with another company that needs a separate business unit, then those business units could be um, at the same level instead of, you know, one above the other, you know, you can figure it out. Just generally what I encourage, but not a requirement. Let's look at an example business unit structure, right? Here's something really simple. We have our root business unit and then our organization like we talked about. Then we have our east and west and different sales territories under it. So something like this could be really standard, right? But when we look at this, let's think about a few things, right? Where does marketing live? Does it make sense for marketing to be at the organization? Do they work with all groups? Where, where should they live in this, right? And also let's talk about other management. Is there management that should have access to the whole organization or should they only have access to specific territories? Or does it matter if they have organization access, right? But the other thing I want you to think about too is the assistance, right? So let's say Bob has an assistant um, who just works with Bob. Easy, right? He can live in Bob's business unit and maybe he works with all of the users in the West, right? Then maybe he lives in the West region and has that deep parent-child business unit access. That might make sense. But what if this assistant needs to support Bob and then sometimes Helga when Helga's on vacation, right? Then, then what do you do? Do we want these assistants to have access to everybody or how can we better share access between those business units? These are kind of more difficult questions. So I do want you to be thinking about them as you're planning out your structure to see what's the best. And there are multiple solutions to solve all of these problems, but I want you just to think about them so that you know that you can plan for it, right? And you can be aware of these types of questions as you're making your decisions. So that's what I have for you today. Like and subscribe and then join us tomorrow when we're gonna talk about Teams.